What is up guys, The Casey's here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new Fire Store, or Cloud Fire Store, which is Firebase's new improved database. Uh, it's in beta right now, but uh, it's definitely going to be something you guys need to know, and why not understand it and start using it in beta so when it is launched, your apps are improved exponentially. So, let's get right on into this. And like I said, uh, I'm starting to post videos every Friday. It was every Thursday, now it's every Friday. And uh, I think I think that's it. So let's get right on into this video. Okay, uh, so right here is our my Firebase console or whatever for one of the test apps uh, authorized. I don't know, I've used it quite a few different times. But you will notice uh, up here at the top, there is two different databases. There's the real-time database and the cloud fire store. Um, on the cloud fire store is the one. That's the, the cloud fire store is the new one. So um, you will notice here they have add collection. So if you made a collection name, this would be something like users, okay? And then you click next. Now, right here. Um, I'm going to add some data just so you guys can see the comparison between database uh, and this. But there's a document ID, a cool thing you can do an auto ID. Um, and then here I'll just throw in something like username, uh, the case. I forgot how to spell my name. Uh, and here you get to select different types as well. Um, so whether it's an object um, of well, you've clicked object, see now it's like an object of different things. Um, huh. That's cool. I, I didn't know it actually did it like this. Uh, I knew that you could add objects. I didn't know it was like this because I could use this for an app I'm building right now. Uh, but anyways, we are using a, a geo, oh, a geo point. That's cool. And then, oh my goodness. I didn't know you could use references. Okay, th this is really cool actually. Uh, references, geo points, timestamp, null, null. Uh, so the value can be null. Okay. I, I don't know if it's a, it, it can't be of type null, but it could be null. Uh, so, anyways, the uh, case is here. What the heck? Alright, save. And you will notice something a little bit different here. Um, on the database, you usually have like child values and things of that sort. But on this one, it is documents and collections and fields, I guess, too. Um, basically, here you'd call firestore dot collection users dot document whatever. And then when you get the document, you call dot data, and it gives you this data, the username field, um, and all of the different fields that you add here. Um, but say you had something like user posts or something like that, that would be a collection. Um, I'll show you here. Because collections can be, um, one sec. I don't know. I'm just putting it in random stuff to show you. Uh, so collections, and then it kind of moves over. Collections can be, or no, yeah, collections can scale uh, vertically with the documents, but documents themselves can't scale very far. I forgot the exact number, uh, but you can't have a whole bunch of fields inside of one document. But if you create a document, you can create a collection, the posts, and now you can have a whole bunch of different documents in that collection. And this is how you scale your Firestore, Cloud Firestore. You uh, create collections, and then you add many documents. You create a collection, add many documents. And you can have collections within documents, okay? Um, I, I'm not sure how far this goes, but I wouldn't suggest going too far into the collection document, collection document. It'd be hard to... Um, access data, read the data, things like that. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible because it's definitely possible. I'm just saying that uh, don't do it too many times. It's also not scalable. 
uh, fire base has a limit on how many times you can do that. Um, but anyways, you guys can kind of sort of see the point of the new database. It's collections and documents, collections and documents. I don't even think you can call the field values. You just say document.data and then data.username. And now you got the username. Okay, so that's one of the cool things. Um, another cool thing, I have not set this up yet, but um, it's really powerful for querying the data because of the collections. Um, so you can sort, query your data a lot faster, and then when you build these indexes or whatever, oh, it automatically index. So you don't even have to worry about indexing, I guess, but you could add one automatically, so or manually, not automatically. Uh, then you have your usage diagnostics, your rules. Um, I found this one kind of weird um, to understand at first, but here basically you have to be authorized to read or write the data. Um, if you want to fix this, you can say allow read comma or no. Allow like like so. Uh, if you want them to be able to read your data, but only write it if they are authorized, um, do something like that. So that's like the, the main gist of it. Instead of child nodes, where it just keeps going down and down and down, it's collections of data. And then you have the fields for that little like node or whatever, but then you also can add more collections. I hope that makes sense. Um, I think that this would be easier for a new person to understand um, all of the, what do you call them? Like, like all. On Firebase database, I was really confused when I first started out with it. I didn't understand the different nodes, child nodes, things like that. I think the documents and collections sorts it out. Um, it makes it a lot easier to understand because you have collections of documents and then you can have a collection inside of a document. Hope that makes sense. But anyways, uh, we're moving on. I am going to show you guys some of the documentation on Firestore, Cloud Firestore. Um, you will notice that they don't have like, like on a real-time database, they have an iOS category. They don't have that yet. I'm sure they'll be adding it. I don't really know. Uh, I'm sure they will. But you can click on iOS. iOS. Uh, you just have to initialize uh, this pod file, Firestorm. And one thing, oh, Swift. So just just Swift as well. Um, so right here, this document or reference, you might notice because I have noticed when you are coding, um, you like with Firebase, it's usually just import Firebase, but I'm guessing because it's beta, um, you actually have to say import Firebase, uh, store or it's like Firestore, Firebase Firestore or something like that. Um, You'll see it. I think I th maybe it's just Firestore. I kind of forgot. But uh, otherwise, the reference, document reference, collection reference, uh, those won't work um, because it's not accessing it through Firebase properly or something like that. But if you're creating a reference variable, uh, make sure to import the Firestore pod into your file. Otherwise, you might see some errors. Um, other than that, I haven't seen too many errors. It's really cool. Um, Oh, I might have, no, yeah, okay, so here is uh, how you read the data right here. Um, basically, the D DB right here is your reference, so it used to be like database dot database or firebase dot database dot reference dot child dot child dot child dot child dot child dot observe a single event of type, whatever, but now it's the firestore dot collection users dot document whatever dot collection whatever dot get documents and then um you have a snapshot error very similar and difference here um in firebase you had like the document dot key and it's changed to doc like in this example um Many times in ours is data.key if you're uh, converting your old code over to the new one. Um, but now it's changed to, in the old instance, it'd be data.documentID. That's how you get the reference. 
uh, for the document right here. This is the ID, so it would be document ID. Um, that documents is an array of documents. So if you're calling a collection, the users, you say dot documents, and now you get a whole bunch, or you get all of these. And then here, they're just doing it in a for loop, so you can go through each document. And say, yeah, right here. Um, oh yeah, it's right there. Uh, document doc, document ID and then dot data. This will give you a. I don't know if it's JSON. Uh, I think no. It gives you an array of string any dot data. But you can say dot data dot. Um, here it'd be dot username and you get that string or whatever uh, type of data you have. What else do we have here? Um, adding data is pretty simple um so one thing to note here in the firebase database there was uh many problems with like merging data if you didn't know what you're doing you could actually add data to the database and eliminate all of the data because you use like a dot post or i forgot what it was um i had done that many times now they have this thing um where you're just setting the data but if you say set options dot merge it merges the data in if it doesn't exist already. And if it does exist, it uh, replaces the value. So if you had a username and now you're merging in the new username, it's just going to replace the username. But if there was data that you're merging that didn't exist, it just adds it instead of replacing the whole entire thing, which is very cool. I think they have another one where you can still replace everything. Um, but if there's no data, it just adds it. So you don't even have to worry about the other one. Set data. Uh, if you say set data without the merge, it just adds it and will delete everything else. Let's see what else I got. I mean, you guys can uh, check out this stuff. Uh, update fields. Oh yeah, so you can update specific fields, I guess. Um, that document that updates. Um, oh. Yeah, so on a document, you can just update the data. Oh, okay, I see, I see. But you could also set the data like that okay I mean it's pretty much the same stuff um, you guys probably all know this um, oh that's, that's really cool <laughs> I don't know you can do this uh, so you can say field value dot server timestamp uh, that could be useful if you're using something like you're posting data um, that needs a time you use the timestamp and then it will be consistent over all of your devices on how long ago that item was created, I guess. Um, but I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys check out Firestore, Cloud Firestore. I don't know why I keep calling it Firestore. Um, but check out Cloud Firestore. Um, definitely update your apps. I noticed in one of the apps I'm building um, a significant increase in the speed. Uh, I don't know if it was just me being like, oh, this is cool and it's faster or if it was actually faster I think it's actually faster um, but if it's not then it was just me um, but they have some cool things also you guys should check out uh, storage let's see right here um, I, don't, I don't know where it's at but they have another thing download files maybe download, download. okay um, where is it? It's like firestore.ui or something like that. I don't know if it's new. If I over oh, right here, yeah, Firebase UI uh, storage. And this is um. It uses Google's best practices. Um, some cool stuff. It takes a lot, a lot. It takes a lot less code um to do this compared to what I have been teaching you guys. Uh, but basically, you just get the reference, which I've taught you guys. Um, and then you just say in the, you get the, the, the reference to the image or something like that. And uh, yeah, right here, uh, the reference. And then you create your image view. And then you just say dot SD set image with your reference to your image. So that could be a URL reference with URL. And then placeholder, but you don't have to have the placeholder. It could be just a reference, and it creates this really nice, seamless um, downloading of the image. I think they even cache the image for you automatically. 
cool stuff like that that you don't have to manage just by importing this little pod file right here. And it also will let you do way less code um, because otherwise you have to do like error handling, annoying stuff. Um, yeah, I think this is like download, oh, it's a local file. Uh, look at all that compared to your image view dot this. Like that's all you really have to do, dot reference. That's way simpler, it takes you less time, and it's even better, unless you guys have to manage that stuff. Definitely check this out. Put those in your apps. Um, get Firestore in there because you should use it and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next Friday in another video if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to the channel we are booming thank you guys for all the kind support if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you haven't liked the video please leave a big like um, if it's up to you in any way please the thumbs up let me know that that video wasn't horrible or bad and you guys actually liked it, you liked that type of content. Um, that's what the likes are for. The dislikes, uh, don't dislike it, just leave a comment. But, um, you know, I use those things to judge uh, what type of videos you guys want to see, things like that. I ignore the haters, but I love you guys' support. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.